Top tips for vaccinating sheep. Number one, expectations. It's important to understand how a vaccine works. When we inject with an antibiotic, we're relying on the drug we're injecting into the animal to kill the disease. This is not the same with a vaccine. What a vaccine does is give the animal a small controlled amount of the disease such that it doesn't cause illness, but wakes up the animal's own immune system so it makes antibodies to protect against that disease if it meets it during its natural life in the future. This means we're relying on the animal we're injecting into to produce those antibodies and so the animal needs to be in the best health, in good nutrition, not suffering from any other disease or under periods of extreme stress, all of which are known to lower the immunity. Next top tip is transport and storage. Vaccines are, are produced in a sterile environment, in a factory, in temperature control that is recorded all the time. It's therefore important to transport your vaccines home at a suitable temperature and put them immediately in the fridge. They need to be transported and stored at a temperature of two to eight degrees centigrade. Some vaccines also need protecting from light. The next top tip is on getting your vaccine into the animal. Subcutaneous vaccinations are best given in the neck, on the side of the neck, um, choose an area in the middle, pick up a fold of skin, and then the injection will go in the space underneath the fold. So we're injecting in the space under the skin, not into the muscle or any of the associated structures. Intramuscular injection is also best given in the neck. The muscles of the neck run down in a triangle and injection goes directly into the muscle.